Hi, it's TechBlog from Russ Young Media, and today we're going to bring you a photoing software called Shape Collage. Now this is a free open source program that you can download. I will have the link in the description, and it will help you do photo editing very simple and easy. Um, you can use this to make any, basically any kind of photo collage thing you want. You can do rectangles, squares, circles, whatnot. You can make things for your girlfriend, letters, whatever. So you, all you need your photos. You take them, drag them into your drag photos here area. And then you pick what kind of shape you want and the dimensions and everything. It's very simple and easy to use. I'll show you how to use it really quickly here. Um, I'll choose rectangle for a desktop bound. I'll change manual to 1440 by 900 because that's my desktop size. And then I will choose the photo spacing. I'll throw it up to 78. I'll throw a preview in to see how they will space each other. And I can either create or mess with other options. Like there's appearances. You can choose how you want your photos to look. You actually make them look like photos like this. You can get rid of the white background. You can add another photo in the background. I usually like the photo in the background or the photo look. So you can also go into advanced. It shows you how to, how to do the rotation and the shadows and everything. If you want no shadow, you can just throw off the shadow. It really doesn't show you in a preview. But and each time you render the preview, it will come out looking different, so you know when you create it, it will come out different each time. So if you don't like it the first time, you can redo it, redo it, redo it, whatever. So then you click create, and the save option will pop up. You can either save it as a JPEG, ping, or you can save it as a PSD. That way, so if you want to edit it further and you have the photo editing skills, you can go into Photoshop, mess around with it. Each photo is in its own layer, so it's really easy and really simple to use. And yeah, so this has a JPEG. I'll call it Demo BG. I already have a photo really like that. So I'll place it. I'll save the quality out as 80. We don't want anything too high for our desktop background. It's not really that important. So I'll save that out. And there's the preview. You can minimize it, open up in your normal preview, and see what, how you like it. If you don't like it, just re-render it out until you like it, or delete photos, add photos. See, the spacing here is pretty bad, because there's a lot of white space. So you might want to go back in to Photo Collage, and go back to the s photo spacing, and bring it down a notch, maybe a 61 or 50. Throw the, or sh show the preview again. See, now they're a lot closer. There's a couple spaces here with white spacing. You can't really get rid of them all unless you have a lot of photos. If you have a lot of photos, you want to space them out a lot more. Like, you might want to space them out like this. See, that's really good for a couple, like, couple of photos. You can also do it out as a letter. Say you want to say, this is from Teco. These images are from Teco 09, so you can throw in 09 and do the preview. Uh, this isn't going to work only because I... Actually, it doesn't look too bad. You can roughly see the 09, but you probably want to jack the spacing down a teeny bit. Maybe throw it down to maybe 90. Pretty good out. Let's get closer together. You still can't make it out too well, but it's... You get the point. If there, you had more photos, it would look nicer. Like, I'll create this. And I'll show you the preview. See, all the images from my tech are shaped in the S09. This is, this is a really fun, easy tool that you can use to make professional looking collages in a matter of minutes. You, if you have photo editing skills or not, it's a good program for both. Because you can, even if you don't like exactly how it does it, you can redo it, it'll re render it out, or you can go into Photoshop and edit it. It's very compatible, it's, I believe it's running on both platforms. Uh, Mac and uh, PC. Um, that's about it. I that's tech blog for today. And come back.